The Mitsubishi EDM control for Mitsubishi die syncing is incredibly easy to use. And I would like to give you a short overview of how we might set up a workpiece or an electrode, write a small program, and start the sparking operation. On the Mitsubishi control, for the, for the Mitsubishi die sinker, we have three main areas. They are setup, program, and monitor. So in setup, the first thing the operator might do is he might need to set up his workpieces. We, we can take the electrode and touch the workpiece, but generally we will use a touch probe. The operator simply inputs the data at X and Y dimensions of his actual workpiece. He doesn't need to calculate any additional clearance. Where he might like to start to touch the top of the workpiece, height to move down the side of the workpiece, and then start the operation. The touch probe will move around the part and find his common datum. This kind of philosophy is carried through to the hole pickup, corner pickups, three point inside, outside kind of pickups. From this, afterwards, we need to set the electrodes. The first thing might be to orientate the electrode and maintain its parallelism. We might find the center of the electrode around a frame using a, a pole pickup, or maybe something more complicated as a corner pickup. And as we change the face selection, the graphics will help us by changing also. Once the electrodes and workpieces are set up, the operator can move to the programming. We have a simple guidance system on, on the programming to, uh, called Navigator, and this will guide the operator through in a step-by-step -step sequence, or he can work manually, typing in, first of all, his work position number, his start position, maybe the depth that he wishes to machine to, and then what he needs now is help with the technology. To search a condition, the operator will open up this screen here, which helps fine tune the process he is about to undertake. So we have cavity, ribs, gates, undercuts, helical gears, splines, punch machining, and so on. If we take rib as an example, a simple rib is quite simple. But there are multiple different occasions for, and different kinds of types of rib that will change the dynamic of the process. And this helps the, oper the operator fine tune his process. We start with the steel, perhaps in our case, graphite electrode, confirm his depth, give the electrode some kind of area, choose the surface finish that he desires, and then maybe an orbit strategy to suit his actual workpiece. Maybe any undersize on the electrode is required. And then he can search this technology into the program. All that remains now is for him to give it some tool numbers from the tool carousel and then save the program out. And the program is then saved. We can take a closer look at the technology created. Here, this is the technology file uh, 9006 that was just created in our program. And all the information for the generator settings, flank st uh, standoff and radial standoff are all calculated for the, for the operator. We can then move through to the monitor where he can search his program and press the start button and wait for the result.